Good morning, campers. Today's meadow craft is sidewalk chalk puppy paint. So I would ask that you please make this with a parent, and then when you make it, you have to use it the same day that you mix it because it cannot be stored. So let's get started. So first, I have this Mexican bowl. It's an old one, so my mom doesn't really care that I use it for a craft. Um, it has a spout, which will be which will help us out later um, for putting it in our bottle. Um, if not, you can just use a funnel. And then I've got a rubber spatula to mix it with. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my measuring cup and get a cup of water. I have a bucket of water right here. And I'm gonna put this in the bowl. And then I'm going to take some flour. I've got a spoon for that. And you need a cup of flour for this recipe. It doesn't have to be exact because we're not baking anything. So then you're going to start mixing that into your water really well because it can't have any lumps or else it won't go through the spout of the bottle. And I'm just going to leave my flour here because sometimes if it's a little bit runny at the end, I might add a little bit more. And I'm going to grab some dish soap. Any kind is fine. If your dish soap is a little bit more liquidy like mine, you might need to, you, you might really need to add more flour at the end, but it doesn't really matter what kind you use. So you're going to need a tablespoon of dish soap. And I just like to scrape it out so I get all of it in there. Set that aside. And then the next part is the fun part, and that's when you can pick what color you want to put in. So I've got some food coloring here. Any kind of food coloring will do. Um, I chose to use pink for my first bottle. I think I'm going to make the next uh, bottle green so I can make a flower later. So you're going to need about 10 to 12 drops of food coloring. It sounds like a lot, but you have a, quite a lot of paint in here, and if you don't put enough in, your color won't really show up, and it'll still be kind of white. You want to have that pretty mixed too. And my paint is a little bit runny yet, like I said, because I think I um, because of my pretty runny dish soap. So I'm just gonna kind of scoop maybe a couple tablespoons of extra flour in here and mix that in. You can always add more as you go. Just don't add too much at once or else it'll be too thick. But it kind of wants to be the consistency of like a pancake batter almost, like a thinner pancake batter. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move my flour out of the way. I'm gonna take the lid off my product bottle. And I got these at Walmart actually in the food section for people who like to make their own barbecue sauce or something. Uh, but if you can't find them, you can order them on Amazon. I've seen that. Or if you want to wash out like an old container of dish soap or an old ketchup bottle, just make sure it's really clean first because it would be kind of gross to have actual ketchup in there. Um, but anything like that is fine. And this is where having the spout on the end of your bowl is helpful because then you don't have to get a funnel. Um, and this is where you're going to probably need your parents to help you out here because it can be really tricky. I hope I don't make too much of a mess. Try to pour this into my bottle. And it's okay if you get a little bit on the table. It's completely washable because it's just flour, water, and dish soap. And this makes a decent amount, so you might not even be able to get all of it in your bottle. And that's okay. And like I said, pouring slowly is probably a good idea so that it doesn't get everywhere. And then if you Want to scrape the sides of your bottle that's helpful or your bowl that's really helpful as well right. that's pretty good well i made a little mess but nothing that a little water won't be able to take care of a little bit later all right so i have my two colors of my puffy paint here and i just want to remind you guys that you cannot store this so whatever you make has to be either used up or dumped in the same day that you make it okay 
And also, I wanna let you know, before I start using this, that if you leave it on the pavement for too long, it'll kinda cook like a pancake on there and stay for several days. So, once you're done making your picture and you're done playing outside for the day, you need to wash it off either with a hose or a bucket of water, just so it doesn't stick on there forever. All right, so now I'm gonna make a flower. your flowers more than this but I like the striped look and if you made more than two colors you could even layer with a different color on top of it if you wanted but there's my flower so now that I'm done painting and I don't want it to stay here forever I'm going to use this bucket of water to start washing off my flower if you have a hose handy feel free to use that but I don't so I'm just gonna use this bucket 